Hey YouTube, what is going on? Sneaky Mouse here, and I know it's been a while. I first just want to say thank you for, I think I'm at like 586 subscribers now. So, so, and before I continue into the video, I just want to say I haven't been able to get really that much new like base builds or any content because I was away, so I didn't really have time to like work on anything. And it's been pretty busy because school just got back and going, but there's going to be a long weekend next weekend so I will definitely get a new base build out and I have an idea just for one. So now let me get into this. So a huge problem in Rust is the FPS and especially for content creators like myself it's hard to be able to like record and get like good quality gameplay. So what I like to do is I like to use Nvidia Shadowplay. If you have any NVIDIA graphics card or graphics chip, whether it be laptop or desktop, you're able to use this free program and it provides crystal clear gameplay like none other. I've been trying to use like another program called D3D Gear, but it's still just not as useful. The thing like that gives it the edge over any other recording program is that you can save like a certain amount of time afterwards. So say if you make a play but you're not currently recording, you just hit Alt F9 or whatever your th thing is, and you'll be able to like get all that clip saved. So that's how I record the majority of my gameplay. So I don't necessarily have to worry about it in the sp like in like the fight or something like that. Anyways, so now I'm going to help you guys find some settings, which will help you be able to record your things easier, and it your game will look nicer for you and have zero um, FPS drops or anything. So first of all, you're going to want to go to your options. You just hit the little uh, gear from your homepage or in game, doesn't really matter. Then you, I turn off branding, it's the little green banner that's in your top right hand corner. And then name tags are optional, depends if you stream or not. And then chat of course is optional too. I like to leave chat on because sometimes admins need to say something and then it's always funny to see people get salty at you. So the next step I do is image effects. I turn everything off. I personally don't really notice any difference with it. And so it's good to have off because they just like block your screen or make like, look, make stuff in the distance blurry. Looks cool, adds nothing. There's no point having that on because say if you're trying to shoot some guy with a bolt to your AK like on the ground or with a semi or whatever, you're just like making your life more difficult. The next thing is I turn off large scale occlusion. Grass displacement is on, that's just so I can find guns, but it does add like seven FPS drop, like a FPS drop of seven. So you probably should have it off if you have a lower end PC. I currently use a gaming laptop, but it's a high end gaming laptop, so I am okay. Hence I'm able to play on good at like 80 FPS like 70 to 80 FPS consistently. The next thing is shadow cascades. Um, you should have them off. They don't really add much. Essentially anything like that's trying to please you as aesthetically, you don't need it per se. Um, the next step to do is turn your water to zero, water reflections to zero and max shadow lights to zero. Um, and then you want to go to shader level and draw distance. I just leave those both at max. But if again, if you have a lower end PC, then you can reduce it. The draw distance allows you to see things further away. So sometimes bushes don't render far enough, um, which is why I like to have it on full because it's extremely useful. The next step is shadow distance. Say if somebody is like at a building or under a tree, it darkens like everything underneath the tree, so it makes your life a lot more difficult. Same in base, everything's darker with um, the shadow distance up. Uh, Antistropic filtering, I just uh, removed it of course. It has a large performance impact, so generally you shouldn't have it on. Because regardless of any PC, I know friends with like 1080s who literally get 90 FPS in this game and then it drops to like 5 FPS because they have all the stupid shit turned on. And then of course the next is parallax mapping and you don't need that either because they're both high performance impact things. The next is audio, voices I have turned down, music and main menu music you don't need. My master volume is at 0.8 because 
because I like to be able to hear things in my Discord or my TeamSpeak, whatever I'm in. And then game sounds, usually I have it turned at 0.8, but I was doing some PvP this morning, so I turned it up a little bit, and I was like trying to listen to footsteps while doing that. And then for performance, Max Gibbs, you want to slide that all the way off. So say if you're shooting out a big raid tower, and you see all the little pieces fall, all that goes away. So it's extremely useful because, well, it has to render every single thing like that in the entire section of the area you're in. So say if you're taking down an entire building or like shooting out tons of thatch and you get all that rubble build up, it's completely useless, adds nothing to the game. So for it's kind of like funny to see stuff fall, but you can't really most of the time because it's that laggy. The next is particle quality. Nothing really uses or like some things use particle, I think there's like little bits on the flames and maybe some water stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So generally you can like drag that all the way down. Object quality, I have at 100. Um, tree quality does not matter, it's at zero. Terrain quality, I like to have it at 50 just so my like actual gameplay doesn't look like shit. And then grass quality is at zero because again, adds nothing. And decor quality, I would not drop it below 50 regardless of how bad of a PC or how good of a PC you have. Because if you do it too low, then everything looks blurry. Like all the walls are all blurred, like it has really crappy textures. So that's generally not the best thing to have. So those are some of the performance stuffs that you guys should have on. I'm going to put my specs in the description. Of course, it is a gaming laptop, so it is less powerful than most desktops, but it still packs quite a punch and it's like reliable. I travel quite a bit, so it's good to have it around. And yeah, thank you for watching. This has been the Sneaky Mouse.